What is going on guys, it is your boy Law here and I'm back with another video. This is going to be an editing tutorial on how to sync sniping clips with Twixter. Alright, so first off what you guys are going to want to do, you're going to want to obviously open up the project file that I give you. Um, it's in my or how to stay organized video if you don't have that anyways I'll have that down in the description as well as the project file to actually this whole tutorial So you can kind of see what hat what's going on and everything that I've been doing in here and you can just try to work your work away around it and then uh, Try to do it for yourself, but yeah, just follow this tutorial and hopefully this will help you so you're just gonna drag in your song and you're gonna go along and you're gonna find the beat using the decimal button thing on your keypad and then you're gonna push the asterisk button on your keyboard wherever the beat is and that will make this little marker here and if you don't know what that is I'll have it up on the screen so you can see what an asterisk button is so you guys can do that alright so once you have your beats we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag in our clip if your clip isn't 60 FPS then I feel really bad for you because this is gonna be pretty horrible to edit with if it's 30 FPS so you always want clip 60 FPS and once you drag in the layer we're gonna go ahead and hide this audio layer and then we're going to go to our first beat right here and we're gonna drag this layer until we can find the first shot of where we want it to go on our beat so as you can see uh, right here you can see the bullet trail of where the guy shoots so we're going to go ahead and push Control shift d to split our layer onto that beat and you guys can also go to edit split layer and it does the exact same thing and so we're going to go forward and we're going to find where he shoots next and you can go ahead and go frame by frame to kind of help you it's better to go frame by frame and it looks like he shoots right right there so we're gonna go ahead and push control shift D again just move along to the beats and this is basically all we're gonna do right now is just go ahead and find all the shots and throw them on the beat so I can do that really quick right there okay so now that we have all of that, uh, don't worry about it being extra long on these. I'll show you guys how to trim that up in a minute so it looks real nice. So then we're going to go to an effects and presets and we're going to type in no warp. Now this is a preset that I'm also going to have down in the description that you guys can download. This is probably one of the best plugins besides Distrum. If you guys have Distrum, please use that. But if not, this is very close to Distrum and it works just about the same. But this one's abs from it's free from somebody. But I think Distrum's like two dollars. And yeah, so go ahead and download that. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag that onto this layer right here not the part before all right here you want it right where it shoots and we're gonna go and we're gonna keyframe our speed at 100 and we're gonna go ahead and push you on our keyboard and we're gonna go one frame ahead and we're gonna put it on 250 because it is kind of like a faster song but if it's slower you can drop it down to about like 200 and then we're gonna go to our second beat and we're gonna go one frame before and they also make a keyframe there for 250 and we're gonna go right in the middle and we're gonna put that at 50 and we're gonna go ahead and highlight all these and you can right click in the uh, keyframe assistant and you're gonna easy ease or you can take the shortcut which I normally do and you can push F9 on your keyboard and we can go over here to our graph editor and then we're gonna zoom in so we can see our graph editor a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and take these bottom ones and we're gonna drag these all the way out maybe a little bit up if you guys are feeling it because that gives it some pretty nice flow and then we can take these handles and we can just drag them down just so slightly you want them kind of straight and you're gonna do that on both sides so yeah that may need some touching up but that would that would be alright for now and we're just gonna keep on doing that same basic stuff that we have been doing on that first part and we're just going to keep doing that for the rest of the clip. So like I said, one frame before on the beat that he's going to shoot on the next shot. 
and right in the middle keep, always keep it at 50 never go below 50 um, if your edit needs some like tailoring because it doesn't look right uh, you can use time remap by pushing control alt t and adjusting it or you can always change the ones that say 250 to a higher or lower speed however you need it um, but i recommend changing the further points instead of the middle point but you can always change the middle point to maybe speed it up a little bit more if you guys need it that way All right, so I'm gonna jump forward right here and I'm just gonna finish up on the last two parts of this clip so this video isn't super long for you guys. you guys have that all done on this last one instead of on the, the last beat instead of going one frame ahead or behind I mean uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna split the layer right there on that beat and we're also gonna make that keyframe and twixter onto that beat and we're gonna go right here before and let's pick a good spot for him for the clip to start so I say like maybe right here should be good and just go ahead and split it um, I normally don't edit the first part of the clip that's just personal preference though but you guys can dabble with that if you would like and let's go ahead and watch this RAM preview so this should be basic synced right now it could use some adjusting probably but yeah we'll go ahead and I'll teach you guys how to throw on some quick audio onto this after we watch this RAM preview Alright, so as you guys saw, that was pretty basic syncing for a sniping clip and After Effects with Twixter. But we can go ahead and we can further this and make this edit even better by using some audio. And I'm actually going to have a gunshot enhancement video out pretty soon, but I'm just going to do it real basic here. I'll put it on like negative 10. We'll see how that sounds. Nope, can't even hear it. <laughs> Alright, um, probably right here, and we can drag that to our beat. It would work, okay, so, let's say eight, maybe. Nope. Yeah, I guess you can hear it, it's fine. It doesn't really matter, I'll, I'll show you guys how to fix that up later, just do your Gunshots pretty simple you can go ahead and move to each beat and you can copy your layer by pushing control D And then you can click the left bracket thing so you can just move it to the beat But I always do mine right under the part of the clip that I'm editing Some people do it differently, but that's just how I do it personal preference. That's all it is Let's go ahead and watch this RAM preview one more time Alright guys, so there you have it. It's That's what you learned today with the basic syncing of a sniping clip with Twixter. So I hope this video helped you. Make sure to download all the stuff in the description if you guys would like for the plugin and the project files and everything. So all of that and the materials will be down in the description. But if this video helped, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. It's been your boy Law, and I'm out. Peace. this face keep the change and have a nice day and live for the moment not by the past home and live each day like it's yeah. your last all my life i could have fit in like a bad shoe i was